Hi everyone and welcome back to the series on reactive search. In the previous video, we saw how to create a search bar using reactive search. Now in this video, we will see how we can create a facet which allows user to filter a restaurant uh, based on different categories. Uh, for example, you want to search a restaurant which has Mexican food or you know different uh, businesses as well. So here is a quick demo uh, just to see like what should be the outcome uh, when we complete this particular video is we should be able to filter the data uh, based on these categories. Uh, so as you can see my responses are changing and I'm able to get uh, whatever data is present. Um, for example there are only four home services and as you can see there are only four uh, data over here. Alright, so in order to achieve this, we need to use multipist component of reactive search. Um, so you can just uh, scroll through the docs over here. Uh, now multipist component creates a selection based UI component um, that is connected to a single field in a database because you know you can only aggregate over a single field uh, while creating this kind of filters. Internally, Multilist makes an aggregation query to Elasticsearch uh, to get the unique list of data, uh, what you see over here. So here is a basic usage of Multilist where you just need to mention the component ID, which is, you know, a compulsory prop for all the reactive list components and a data field. Um, and title is helpful whenever you want to change the default title and use um, something else. All right, so let's see what sample code looks like for our example. So we do have something called categories and we can use categories.keywords to generate this data. Uh, let us first see how this data is available to us. Um, so for that, I will go back to our um, cluster. And as you can see, we have this list of categories and we want to have this kind of similar, you know, um, multi list which allows user to search across multiple um, categories or filter the data by multiple categories uh, awesome so we need to use categories field and as you can see we have dot uh, keyword available as a subfield uh, for the categories So we will just use uh, this as a basic code uh, and let's import it uh, in our example. So I'm importing multi-list. I'm creating a different division uh, below my navigation bar where I'll be having multi-list uh, component ID is categories sensor data field is categories dot keyword and as you can see we now have a multi list which shows up in our UI as well um, right now it is occupying the full width but uh, we can limit the width to 30% of the screen size so let's quickly do that um, I would just add a wrapper over here so you know it appears just uh, in the 30% of the screen and not the whole screen um, so that we have some space for rendering the results as well awesome so that is done and that's all for this video um, in the next video we will see how we can uh, render the list of search results thank you